Hey guys, I'm back. Wanna see something uh, ugly? Dude. I haven't looked forward to do this, but it needs to be done. This overhead needs to be gutted. Uh, let me turn down the music and arrow a little bit. A little bit high. Oh, okay. Jesus. Now, if you were to ever hook up an overhead, please, I mean please, make sure to do it right. Make, make up some kind of a system, even before you begin connecting overhead. Because if not, you're going to be sorry. Now, before you say anything, I did not connect this overhead. We bought this. Uh, so, somebody else built it. So this is the SIS-1 board, it's a flight tech solution and the camera does not want to focus. So now the boards are out, two of them, and now look at this mess and it all, it needs, everything needs to be cut out. Oh Lord. Oh, guys, finally. Look at this bullshit. Look at that wire harness. There was no system at all on anything at all. I, I mean, it lo looked like everything was just thrown right in there. Please, guys, if you want to do this, if you want to make your own overhead, please make a system. Like, try to wire or route the wires correctly. Try to make a system so that when you keep adding more and more equipment to the overhead, you're not going to overfill it so it looks like uh, a damn spider web. So my plan is right now is to do this thing in stages. Number one would be if I have the flight illusion gauges that are going in these um, white uh, dummy gauge, gauge holes, I would mount them first. Second, I would start with the switches. Everything that has to do with one switch would be connected and routed and, and neatly. Okay. The next step would be all the enunciators. That's one circuit, blah, blah, blah. And you keep working, keep working to get a good solid system. Because what you just saw right there is the way it's not supposed to be done. That is some bull crap. And there was nothing I could do to upgrade this because of all these wire. Oh. 
the only thing I'm going to keep are the wires that has this socket in it because it connects directly up to the <clears throat> flight deck solution board. Uh, so I'm going to use that. So uh, these wires are still usable. I need to, um, what do you call it? It needs to be cleaned, cleaned up a little bit, and then, uh, and then uh, I can. Uh, I'm going to be able to use them again. So hopefully I'll be able to make a better system than what was pre previously. And what I did, is, these are all the negatives, the little jumpers from one switch to on, another. And the flight tech, tech solution board um, supports eight ground wires uh, per, uh, let's see, one ground wire uh, covers Eight switches. So look, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's okay. So there's a lot of work to be done on this over it. I wish, I wish the the soldering would take as uh, would be just as fast as cutting it down. But now, guys, you've seen it. It's dreaded. I destroyed, I destroyed the overhead, but trust me, I'll bring her back to life. Okay guys, later.